Welcome back to PSC's Tech Bytes. First of all, let me remind you to subscribe to this YouTube channel by pressing the red button in the lower right corner of the screen. That said, today we keep on talking about the PMP Modern Search Web Parts, and specifically I want to explain you how to use the Search Filters Web Part, which is really useful and interesting whenever you want to provide an advanced filtering capability to your end users while browsing through the search results. This web part has to be connected in a two-way connection with the search results web part of PMP Modern Search, meaning that you will have to connect the search filters web part with the search results web part, and the other way around, you will have to connect the search results web part to the search filters one. And then you will be able to filter the results of the search results web part based on the values retrieved by the search results itself. When you do that, you can rely eventually on refinable fields, like for example refinable strings, and you can rely on taxonomy fields if you like. You can also define a deep link URL so that you can provide to your end users a deep link to target a specific search query with a specific search filter. This is an highly customizable web part. For example, you can customize the fields that you want to use for filtering, as well as you can heavily customize the layout, even including a custom HTML and handlebar template for rendering the search filters. So, like always, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how to use this web part. This is the official documentation page for the search filters web part, and you can find the link uh, in the description of this video. And here you can see the search filters web part uh, in action, where I have uh, a list of search results, and on the left side I can filter by creation date uh, and by author. And for example, if I will select the document by author, I can see that the filter has been applied to show me just uh, the results with myself as the author. And as you can see here, we have a deep link URL where we have an F filter in the query string, which defines uh, the filter that I just created. If I will remove uh, this filter, the F uh, query string parameter will go away. So let me show you how I configure this web part. So let me edit the search results page. And here we can see that this is the PMP search results web part. If I click on the pencil to edit the properties, first of all, we can notice that this is connected to the search result web part, so the one on the right side, as well as uh, we can eventually connect it to a vertical, which we will cover in one of the upcoming episodes. And in the customized filters, we can edit the properties that we want to make available to the end users for filtering. These properties are defined by a name, which will be used to display the uh, filter in the UI, as well as by a filter field, which is one of the fields that we selected in the search results configuration. And we can eventually uh, manually provide the name and validate it, or we can select it from a drop-down list. Then we can also define the maximum number of values that we want to retrieve from the search results in order to provide proper UI in the search filters web part. And we can define the template for rendering the uh, filter. So it can be a date range like it is for the created date. It can be a checkbox list, a date interval, and a combo box, up to you. And then we can also define if we want to expand by default the filter in the UI or we want to uh, keep it collapsed and the user will have to click on the arrow to uh, expand it. We have additional options like, for example, selecting if we want to apply an end or an or concatenation rule for the filters. And we also have a global setting for that. Uh, the operator can be uh, globally an end or an or. Then if we click on the next button, we can see the layouts available. We can use the vertical, which is the one we are using, the horizontal one, the panel-based one, meaning that by clicking on the show filter, we'll see a panel on the right side of the screen. We can use the debug view, which will give us insights and information about the data that we can use to render the output of the filters web part. And we can eventually use a custom rendering, which can rely on a handlebar template or can be based on an external HTML file. So completely up to you uh, whenever you want to define a custom rendering. And then you can eventually export and import all of the settings of the uh, search filter web part in order to reuse it on multiple environments. As I told you, the search filters web part uh, 
works on a two ways connection with the search results and that's why in my search result web part if I will go to the connection settings we can see that this web part, the search results, is connected to a filter web part and specifically to the search filter web part that I have on the left side. So, this is a really powerful uh, web part that you can use to provide uh, a nice and friendly experience to your end users uh, whenever they want to filter the search results. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.